We are here with two-time Olympic champion Alistair Brownlee's Scott Plasma TT. We do apologize for the slightly mucky and raw finish of Alistair's bike. We've literally just grabbed it off him post-race. So we do have energy drink and gels just splash down the top tube um, and down tube here. But we do know after spending a bit of time with Alistair pre-race that he is very meticulous on his pre-race prep of his bike, cleaning it and making sure it's mechanically sound. Before we move on to the frame itself, let's have a look at the wheels. So, Alistair's had a long-standing sponsorship with Zip Wheels, so he's actually riding an 808 wheel on the front and a Zip disc on the back. Alistair, normally riding a road bike, switching to a TT bike, he can now utilise these deeper wheels. He raced a relatively flat race today, so he's opted for the fast disc wheel. Staying with the wheels, Alistair is running a 25mm Continental Grand Prix TT tyre on both the front and the rear wheels. As we're seeing increasingly across TT bikes, the brands are now utilizing this integrated storage system that you can see across the frame. This is so that the athletes can carry more fluid and nutrition on race day whilst keeping it aerodynamic. So the Scott has this front hydration bottle with straw coming out so you don't need to move from your aero bars. You've then got your gels and other nutrition on the top tube and then your bottle on the down tube. Alistair's Scott Plasma is also fully equipped with the new SRAM Red ETAP. So all the gears work wirelessly with individual batteries in each element. So at the front, we've got the gear change on the end of the poles, as well as blips on the bull horns, and then individual components for the front mech and the rear mech, no wires at all. Moving on to his crank set, Alistair's running a SRAM Red Quark power meter. We had a little chat to Alistair before his race and he was telling us how he's showing a lot more interest in his power and his numbers in comparison to when he raced his ITU races. And interestingly, he's opted for a 55 chain ring. Pretty beefy. He's also running 172.5 crank lengths with speed play pedals. TT bikes are relatively new to Alistair, so it's interesting to see him with such an aggressive position. His drop from saddle to pads and bars is quite significant. Chatting to Alistair, he has changed it quite a lot recently. There's been a lot of trial and error, which is normal for someone new to non-drafting racing. So I wouldn't be surprised if this changes again, but that's a very aggressive position. Moving back through the bike, Alistair is using a Physique Arioni saddle. And on the back of his saddle, he has got an additional bottle cage to carry a 750ml bottle Alice is quite secretive about his nutrition, but with the Yorkshire Tea logo all over the bottle, I can only imagine it's Yorkshire Tea. As with all TT bikes now, they are hiding the brakes, and it's actually taken me a good few minutes to actually locate where the brakes are. We've got a brake hidden in the fork here, actually in the fork, and then, as usual, a brake under the bottom bracket, but so sleek and aerodynamic. This is a new bike for Alistair, so we hope it brings him to some success over the longer distances. To subscribe to Global Triathlon Network and see more videos from us, just click on the globe here. And to see a Q&A from Alistair Brownlee, just click up here. And then to see a comparison between road bikes and TT bikes, click here.